Check out my brand new rainbow purse now available in the Roblox catalog. All of the links for this and all of my other merch can be found in the video description. Use star code Kristen when buying Robux or premium. Hey everyone, it's Kristen and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having an awesome day. So for today's video, you guys, we have a bunch of things that we are going to need to go over in today's video. So if you guys have been here over the last couple of videos that I have been posting regarding the changes for the candy cannon and also the new B blaster that is in game. You guys are definitely going to want to check this out because there's so much new and I'm going to be showing you guys exactly how to get it because I do see from the comments that a lot of you guys are really confused about what this B blaster is and how you can actually get it. So of course make sure that you have your notifications on as I do post new Roblox videos you guys every single day. Make sure to give today's video a a very big thumbs up and let's go ahead you guys and just get started okay you guys so first thing that we are gonna do is head over to the coffee shop so this is where you are gonna find the first part to how to get the bee blaster so when you come in here there is this new little sign over here which says the legendary roblox nerf collaboration nerf gun <laughs> so it is the bees blaster and you guys this looks so darn cool but okay i have seen a lot of people comparing this with the candy cannon now you guys probably remember the candy cannon from a couple of years ago that is definitely one of the most expensive items alongside the shadow dragon in adopt me because not many people was really playing adopt me then there was a lot but not compared to now so they're definitely super duper hard to track down and this is what they look like but you guys they've actually gone over a little bit of a change and it actually has a lot of players a little bit confused about what is going on so originally with the candy cannon what would happen is you would shoot your yeah see even this is different um, you can actually control it. <laughs> you couldn't control it before, but it is doing the same thing that it used to do where you do go ahead, shoot the candy, but you shoot all of the candy and you was able to run over it and collect it, which we are doing now because they have actually updated that. Within the last couple of days, your pet is now eating it, which that didn't happen last time, you guys, because what would normally happen is you would go over into your inventory, go over to food, and what is now the candy corn that actually used to be those purple suckers? Okay, so what happened before was if you would click on it, it would be the lollipops. Now it's the candy corn, so you can still click on it. Your pets can eat it, but you guys, you can also eat it. And they did change this, so we still have our hyperspeed. Yes, okay. So you guys, originally what happened when Adopt Me added in the Bee Blaster, and they did do a lot of these changes, but they did listen to the community because that was not possible before. So just a quick little clip. This is exactly what I was talking about in my last video where Adopt Me added a video. So this was not added to the YouTube channel, but over on their Twitter when everybody in the community was saying that it was a bad idea and that the candy cannon needed to be reverted. So they said, if you have Adopt Me Nerf Bees Blaster, you can now also claim it in game in the coffee shop. We'll also be reverting the changes to the candy cannon, so it will be back to normal soon. Sorry about that. And you can see down below it says, we'll also revert the changes to the candy cannon. It will return to normal soon. So this was super cool that they actually did confirm it would be changing. So hopefully in the next few days, everything that used to be will be returned like hopefully they will also switch it up so we have the lollies back in our inventories so we can still actually run the only thing is you guys I do hope that they do bring back the purple lollies just because for aesthetic reasons it is a lot better this video is not sped up you guys this is literally exactly what those candies do if you eat them so you can see we're just like normally riding the cow and then we are hyperspeed. <laughs> so that is really cool. If you guys do have the candy cannon, you will still be able to get that benefit of the hyperspeed candy. So that has been updated and a huge thank you to Adopt Me, honestly 
for listening to the community on this. It has kept the evaluation with the candy cannon just because we still have the hyperspeed, which was one of those bonuses that you had with the candy cannon. Mushi is loving this, you guys. Okay, so as you guys remember, I actually was able to get my hands on one of the actual legit B blasters on Friday when Adopt Me opened up their test server. So the test server, I did see a lot of people confused as well, and that is completely different from Adopt Me, but it is Adopt Me, and it's just the server where they test upcoming items and features that they are going to be adding into the main game. So you have like temporary inventory where they give everybody like random items and I was actually able to trade and check out the bee blaster. So the bee blaster works the same as the candy cannon where you shoot off and this one actually shoots off the honey pots where your pets are going to be able to eat them as well. Now you guys, the only way that you are gonna be able to get your hands on one of these bee blasters, it does say over here, but I will explain it a little bit better for you guys. So it says, every nerf adopt me blaster comes with a code for an in-game legendary bee blaster. And you are gonna be able to get these at Amazon, Walmart, Target, and GameStop. And you guys, if you are in Canada like I am, GameStop is also EB Games here. So that's where I was actually able to get mine. And it does say one Roblox account cannot tame wild bees. And included in each Nerf Adopt Me box is a code. Enter the code at roblox.com slash toys and then try again. So this means that you guys are gonna need to go ahead in real life, like walk into the store or online and buy that Bee Blaster Nerf gun that is going to be a real ginormous toy and it will come with a code just like all of those mystery boxes that Adopt Me sells where you open it for a toy and they come with a code. So this is going to be a purchase, a real Nerf gun, and then it's going to come with a code that will actually give you that B blaster in Adopt Me. Okay, so one of the other things that you guys need to know about the B blaster before you start planning trades or anything they are not going to be having any value, you guys, in-game. And you might be like, why? Why? <laughs> and that is because, just like some of the other pets, so that means, you guys, just like this pet right here, the chick pet that we all have that we can use, but we are not able to treat it. Therefore, this chick pet, you guys, has no value. And that is going to be the same thing with the bee blaster because we are only gonna be able to claim one code per account and we are not gonna be able to trade these in game. So I don't know if that is something they will update eventually or if that is something they are definitely sticking with. But as of right now, you guys, if you buy the Nerf gun, you are only gonna be able to have one of those codes on your account. So be very careful with that because I don't want you guys going to buy like five Nerf guns thinking that you're gonna be able to claim the codes to trade them when you're actually only gonna be able to use one code per account. All right, you guys, well, there is today's video and I really hope this did help you a little bit more understanding how to use this and also knowing that it is not going to be a tradable item. So keep that in mind when you are purchasing them as well. And as of right now, you guys, we are actually able to eat the candy once again with the candy cannon with the hyperspeed. So make sure to let me know in the comments, you guys, what are you thinking about the Bee Blaster? Will you be getting it? And I wanna give you guys a little bit of a heads up. I've actually bought two, one that I can have on my account and an extra one so that I can actually do a giveaway. So one of you guys will be able to not only have the Nerf gun that I will be sending you, you will have that code to redeem as well. So of course, give today's video a super big thumbs up. Make sure that you guys have subscribed and hopefully I'm gonna get to see you all next time. Bye guys.